and point P divides the line segment joining point A and B below in the given ratio. Find the coordinates of point P. So this one you have formula but then if you really know how to do it, you don't really need to remember the formula. So basically the point is equal to, so this one is Nx1 plus Mx2 divided by N plus M and this one is NY1 plus MY2 divided by N plus M. So here you see here you have point A and point B. So basically this one is 3, 7. This one is 3, 7. And you know that this one is negative 7, 2. So this one is negative 7, 2. This one is A. This one is B. So we know that this ratio 3, 2 is from A to B. So here 3, 2. So it's dividing by 3 and 2. So, to calculate the coordinates of point P, so P is equal to, so here what you need to do is that you have to cross. You see here what uh, the formula said is that you have to cross. So, here you have 7, negative 7, right? So, B, this B, from B you have to multiply with this ratio. See here, and 3, this one is from A, you have to multiply with ratio here. So this is what it mean by this formula, you have to cross. So here, negative 7 times 2. Okay, and then you have to plus. So this one you have 3, 3 times 2. And then, okay, 3 times 2, this one is negative 7 times 3, I'm sorry. So here, and then you divide with this ratio, which is 2 plus so you see here you have to cross this one and this one, this one and this one. It doesn't matter if you do 3 times 2 first or negative 7 times 3 first. It doesn't matter because I mean it will still be the same answer, right? So this one done. And then the second one, you see here for y also you do the same. So 2 you cross, you will cross, you will multiply with 3, 2 times 3, and then you plus. You see here this one is a plus 1. So you take this one, 7, multiply it with 2. So 7 times 2 divided 2 plus 3. So here, negative 21 plus 6 divided by 5. So this one you get 6 plus 14 divided by 5. So negative 21 plus 6, you get negative 15 over 5. And this one you get 20 over 5. So basically, negative 15 divided by 5, you get negative 3 and 4. So this one is negative 3 and 4. This one is coordinate of P. Okay. So B, you see here in the ratio of 2AP, PB. So it doesn't matter. We do A and B first. So negative 4, negative 1. So it might be here, negative 4, negative 1. So this one is 2 and 5. So B might be here. So this one is A. And my our B is 2, 5. So we see here the ratio of 2. So here 2AP is equal to PB. Right, so we wanted to know the ratio. So here AP divided by PB is equal to, so we bring PB at one side. So we bring 2 to the right, we get 1, 2, 2. So we know that AP, PB is equal to 1, 2, 2. So this is the, this is the ratio dividing A and B. So AP 1, PB 2, this one, 1, 2. So this one is from A to B. So now we have the M and N. So, coordinate P, so for the X again, we cross. This one is negative 4. So, negative 4 cross, we have to multiply with 2. Negative 4 times 2. Okay. And then 2 multiply with 1. Plus 2 times 1 divided by. So, we add up this N plus M, which is 1 plus 2. So, we know that A to P is M. Sorry, this one is M and this one is N. Okay. And then for the y coordinate again, this one is negative 1. You cross, you have to multiply with 2, right? So this one is negative 1 times 2. And then here we have 5 plus 5 times 1 divided by 1 plus 2. So here we get negative 8 plus 2 divided by 3. And here we have negative 2 plus 7 divided by, sorry, 3. 
So here we get negative 6 divided by 3. This one you get 3 divided by 3. So you basically get negative 2 and 1. So we know that here the coordinates of P is negative 2, 1. So C, we see here we have A, B. So basically A is 7, negative 3. So this one is 7, this one is negative 3. So basically if my 7 is A is here. 7, negative 3. So this one is negative 3, 2. So negative 3, 2. So A, B might be here. So this one is negative 3, 2. Okay. So we know that ratio 3, A, P by P, B. So we know that 3, A, P to P, B. So we want to know what is AP to PB. So what we do is that we bring at one side AP or AP AP divided by PB is equal to So we bring PB to the left which means that we need to bring the number to the right. So this one we have 2. So we bring 3 we get this one. So what this means is that AP a, P, 2, P, B is equal to 2 to 3. So we know what is the ratio A, P and then A, P and then A, P, B. A to P and then A, P to P, B. So this one is 2, 3. So this one start from A. Don't make a mistake. So this one is 2 and this one is 3. Now you get what is your M and what is your N. So your coordinates of P, so for the uh, for the X coordinate, again cross. So this one is negative 3. When you cross, you have to multiply with 2. Negative 3 times 2. And then you have to plus. And then this one X7, you have to cross, you multiply with 3. 7 with 3 divided by, this one is 3 plus 2. Okay. And then for Y, you have 2. 2. You have to cross multiply. This one is B, right? So you cross multiply, you multiply with 2. Plus, and then this one, your Y, you have to cross multiply with 3. So here, negative 3 times 3, and then you divide with 2 plus 3, you get 5, right? So this one is negative 6 plus 21 divided by 5. And this one, you have 4. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9 divided by 5. So here you get... Negative 6 plus 21 is 15 divided by 5. And this one you get negative 5 divided by 5. So you basically get 3, negative 1. So this one coordinate of P is 3, negative 1.